Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick video on a FreeSync capable hub that works for your Steam Deck or Ally. The one you see in this video is from Solor, but there are other units that look similar and function the same. It is currently having a Black Friday sale for about $32 and also comes with a USB-C to USB-A adapter, which I will post in the description below. And as you can see, FreeSync is definitely capable on this device. If we take a look at the back, this device features a 100 watt pass-through, 310 gigabit USB 3.1 ports, a DisplayPort 1.4 port, HDMI 2.0, and a gigabit Ethernet port. To make sure these specs are somewhat accurate, I'll be testing these features starting with the power delivery. With the official Asus power adapter, I was only able to achieve a maximum of 25 watts on turbo mode. But when using a 100 watt power adapter, I was able to do the full 30 watt turbo. For testing the USB port speeds, I'll first be plugging an external NVMe directly to the Ally and run Crystal Benchmark. Then I'll compare that speed with the ports in the back. So after running the benches, here are the results when plugged in directly to the Ally. After running the NVMe drive directly, we then ran it with the hub plugged in, and the results were pretty similar. And according to Google, USB 3.1 Gen 2 should in theory give us around 1250 megabytes in transfer speeds, while USB 3.1 Gen 1 should give us half of that speed, so we are for sure getting Gen 2 speeds with this hub. As for the display connections, I did run into a pretty big issue, which was whenever I plugged in an HDMI cable for a dual monitor setup, it would disable FreeSync, even though I disabled the HDMI connected monitor. So keep this in mind that if you want to run a dual monitor setup, FreeSync wouldn't work, and your only option would be one monitor and your ally's screen if you want to have FreeSync available. For our next test, We'll be testing the gigabit port on both my desktop and the USB-C hub on the Ally to compare numbers. I'm not going to use my internet connection for this test because I don't have gigabit internet. So instead, I'll be transferring a YouTube video through the network as an alternative. First, we'll test my network speed through my desktop. From what I can see, the transfer is relatively smooth, hanging around the mid-90s to 100s. As for the Ally, the numbers were a little bit more inconsistent with the lows reaching the high 70s and peak topping out in the hundreds. And finally, there is two more things I need to mention before I end this video. The cable from the docking station to the Ally is quite short and positioned to the right rather than center. This isn't too big of an issue and the Ally is still centered on the dock. One more thing I need to mention is if you're trying to use an Ally or Steam Deck with a case, it probably wouldn't fit, which shouldn't be an issue, if all you're looking for is the ports on the back of the dock. In case you're curious, the fitting for the stand is about one inch. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in, and if you found this video useful, you know the drill and I'll catch you in the next video.